Halloween is upon us and what better time would there be to shed some light on spooky K-pop songs. There are various flavors of dark. Heavy, somber, playful. Moreover, dark songs come in various genres and from various groups. However, there are a few elements that are rather common. Today we are focusing on harmony and sound selection for spooky songs and stay tuned until the end as we shall reveal an effective songwriting approach to these kinds of songs. But for now, let's find out what truly spooks the listener. We often hear rather organic sounds such as pianos, organs, strings, guitars. Some of these can add heaviness and darkness. On the other hand, instruments typical for a more classical soundscape can make us associate the production with the spooky classic stories of haunted mansions. Extra points if those are processed to sound old. Some noise and a bit of detuning or sometimes reversing certain parts can really add a haunted feel to an instrumental, as it makes the instrument sound abnormal or, well, paranormal. If the villain dies. When it comes to lead melodies, these are often introduced by various sparkly or metallic sounds – bells, glockenspiel, xylophone… If we wanted to further lean into the dark vibe, we can add creepy vocal samples. Occasionally, we also hear whistles. Of course, we cannot forget about the ear candy. Depending on the exact theme of our songs, we can elevate the concept a fair amount by adding some sparkle or screams into our production. In fact, this year candy doesn't have to be limited to the instrumental. Vocal effects and even just performance can add a lot to a spooky concept. For example, a ring shifter. Or a distorted pitch down vocal. Or various other vocal effects. However, a good vocal performance and the right instrument still require a suitable melody and a fitting harmony. 
It would be of no surprise that a lot of these songs tend to be in minor keys as they often carry a darker mood. Similarly to what we said about classical instruments, melodies we associate with various classical areas are also very fitting for spooky concepts. An easy way to achieve this authentic classical melody sound is simply by sampling one. But we can take the qualities of those pieces and make our own melodies. What unifies the two pieces we just heard? They both use what we refer to as chromaticism, meaning using notes foreign to the mode a composition is based on. This is what natural minor looks like, but let's listen to a melody which uses some of the notes in between. Spooky, right? Here are some examples of this approach. There is a scale we have mentioned before which works particularly well for spooky songs. We call it harmonic minor, and this is how it differs from natural minor. The sharp seventh we hear is only a semitone lower than our root note, which gives it a particular flair we love for spooky season. You may have also heard of the infamous tritone, the most dissonant interval. We can make use of this dissonance as it instantly adds an unsettling sound to our song. However, relying only on minor can be rather limiting. In fact, there's a lot we can do with major too. While minor and especially harmonic minor are fantastic choices for a dark song, mixing up some major in it can be a great way to increase the spooky factor. Not only does it introduce contrast, it can actually make songs very unsettling. Sudden brightness, in the context of surrounding darkness, is surprising and creepy. Think scary clowns and ghostly children laughing. In fact, this applies not only to harmony, but to sound choices as well. Remember we mentioned using pianos and belts, both which are rather beautiful sounds? Juxtaposed with a generally dark atmosphere, these can sound out of place, in a great way. Let's listen to some examples. This contrast can be done horizontally or vertically. What does this mean? We could make whole sections bright by temporarily swapping into major. Alternatively, this contrast can exist in a single section, for example an upbeat instrumental with a dissonant vocal melody on top. And now it's time for us to ask, what are your favorite spooky songs? Let us know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe for more content like this and if you want to work with us, get in touch, info in the description down below.